coming up tonight on The Hype. Are you ready? Brenton Thwaites talks Pirates 5. Nick brings her A game at Cannes and she's the Heidi Klum of the Middle East. Meet Jessica Kawahati. Hey guys, welcome to The Hype. With the lead in Pirates of the Caribbean 5 alongside Johnny Depp, Brendan Thwaites has landed the role of a lifetime. We catch up with the Orlando Bloom lookalike soon, but first, our headlines. Nicole Kidman has made Can her very own runway. Nick kicked off the week, keeping it French in romantic Rodart and Demure Dior. Oozing daytime glam on Tuesday in this Versace LBD and donning Armani Privé for the evening. The leggy Aussies slayed in iconic US designers, hitting the carpet in monochromatic Calvin Klein and this fun and flirty Michael Kors number. With a massive four premieres at the prestigious film festival this year, our Nick's officially the Queen of Cannes. And to some super exciting engagement news, Tim Robards has popped the question to blonde bombshell Anna Heinrich. The couple, who met on the very first season of The Bachelor back in 2013, announced their engagement on Instagram and we're super excited. Anna told the hype exclusively, we're both really happy and so in love. You know when it's the right time and it was a perfect moment. Well, from your friends here at The Hype, a big congratulations. It's the pirate franchise that catapulted the careers of Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley. And 14 years after the original, it's time for a new generation of superstars. Brenton Thwaites gives us the scoop on Johnny Depp and becoming the next Hollywood hottie. This is a massive Hollywood movie for you and you've, you're no stranger to Hollywood, but do you feel like this is really going to catapult you back into that Hollywood spotlight? I hope so. These bigger movies are great for actors because it provides the safety net to go off and do, you know, a little independent movie that you've wanted to do for years and years. Jeffrey Rush, Johnny Depp. Did you kind of go in there and go, OK, these are all these massive Hollywood heavyweights. I've really got to behave myself. Yes, I did. There was definitely that level of, like, you know, having to be prepared you know, with my scenes, I didn't want to screw anything up. What's it like, you know, working with, with Johnny? You know what, what I loved about him when I was a kid was he made us all laugh, he could make us all cry. We just instantly wanted him to win and we fell in love with him. No matter what he was doing, we were always on Jack's side. When you're shooting with him, it's the same thing. You always, you're always with him and you always want him to win and he's got you in the palm of his hand all the time. This has gone far enough. No, it has not. And what about the improvisation? I know that you're saying that Johnny does still a bit of improvising. That's the best, you know, when, when an actor's doing that moment to moment and just kind of making things up and, you know, sometimes it's the worst thing in the world and you want to delete the footage. Yeah. But other times it's magic and it just works. He was always searching for that and, you know, providing a, a safe set for improvisation, which is... I don't know, not that common. Sometimes I feel like I would you'd watch it and if it wasn't in the script, you'd be like, oh, sh shoot, I'm supposed to respond to this, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, you can kind of feel like all the crew like get out of their seats and yeah. rise and, you know, get all tensey when uh, when Johnny started improvising and, and going off script, yeah. which is great. I saw her ankles. You'd have seen a lot more if you kept your cake holes shut. With well over a quarter of a million followers, she's the dazzling Dubai It Girl who actually hails from Sydney's Northwest. This week, we're hyped about getting to know Jessica Kawahati. You're like Middle East's answer to Heidi Klum. You hosted the first season of Project Runway in the Middle East, but you grew up in Australia. I did. I was born and raised here, went to university here, studied law and business finance, never worked in it, even though law is really my passion deep down. So what was it like? Were you doing that in Arabic, by the way? I was hosting in Arabic, but we did have a lot of international guests like Karin Reutfeld, Mila Jovovich, so I was doing the whole English and then Arabic and then translating back and forth. Have you ever had before? the, like, Amal Clooney? I get it all the time. I was getting it at university. I get it in Dubai and... Do people think you're Amal? No, they don't. They, they know <laughs> They know I'm not, but they do say it a lot. They're like, oh, you're like Amal. It's like someone who's really pretty and is also really smart. I don't know, but I don't have a George <laughs> next to me. Do you have a George? A George? It's a big secret. <laughs> Aww. That's it for tonight, guys. We'll be back on Wednesday with The Last Kingdom's Alexander Dreamy Draymond. In the meantime, head to youtube.com forward slash the hype for more celeb fashion and entertainment news. See you then.